Anyone can have 15 minutes of safety. We need every person in every place of the organization to be living in a way that creates a safety culture 24-7 everywhere we are. The COLAS approach has definitely been very traditional up till this point. We achieved improvement year over year, but around about 2010, we really opened our eyes to the fact that our improvement was average. We brought together people from all eight COLAS companies to put together our first national strategy to take us from average to excellent, and that became goal zero something that we could all visualize, but something was missing. We didn't have the safety culture to drive towards excellence. Started to meet with Caterpillar over a period of months to hear their views, and we realized that maybe having an expert coach could bring those experiences and help us see where our weaknesses were and how to get there. We're beginning the journey here. We're helping them to facilitate the training in what it takes to transform a culture into a culture of zero. A rapid Improvement Workshop is really the key event that starts to turn over the control of safety, if you will, to the employees in the field. We had a good cross-section of people from all different areas of the company, all with their own specific issues and challenges. I didn't know what to expect. It's been almost 20 years and I've never been asked to change nothing except for a nozzle in a tech truck. Day one and day two, we weren't really talkative, but as time went on, we kind of opened up, blossomed a little bit, brain juices started flowing, and we got the gist of why we was really there. So the Rapid Improvement Workshop says, here's a subject, Branscombe chose Toolbox Talks and we scratch everything that we ever knew about Toolbox Talks and say, if you were gonna build it, what would it look like? Well, before it was mis monotonous. A couple of labor signed the paper, and then the foreman would come up to you later and say, here, sign this. If you were there to watch from Tuesday through Friday any of the CI teams, you will see that evolution, and you'll see employees do things you never thought they could do before. I decided to take the reins and, and, and try to like rally everybody, and it kind of worked. I felt like if, if, if I showed them that I'm not afraid, then maybe they won't be afraid either. Listening to Ty will change your opinion. It will change the way you think about safety altogether. It's holding every employee accountable. No matter who you are, your position, your job title, your rank in the company, you're being held responsible for one point of action in this safety policy. If you put that off in it, you'll get it out. All right. We changed roles. It's like I looked at myself and I looked at us being equal. We want to make sure they know, really, it's they're in charge more than we are. This program is going to help everybody in the company get to the same level. It has to include an element of positive. Some of the things that I've seen happen that I would never have believed uh, are the effects of positive recognition. Real recognition is timely, relevant, and sincere. And that's not easy to get if you've spent all of your career talking about things that were wrong. It is pretty fulfilling to actually have a chance to change something within the company you work in. It's sharing the, the responsibilities differently and allowing people at the bottom of the organization to tell people higher up uh, in the chain of command what they need from them. At some point, we develop a transition plan where we begin to move away and they begin to facilitate their own rapid improvement workshops. And this becomes the way they do business and not something that is a caterpillar process. And then that group of people moving out and the next group moving in and the next group moving in and just pushing it out there and pushing it to the field and making sure everybody's buying into it, which I'm sold.